Cheese bomb. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food adventure just for you. I'm in the overcast city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Red Lobster because I just looked through their menu and they've got lobster tacos and I don't recall ever having a lobster taco. So let's go in there, grab some food, come back here and eat it with you and see if it's any good, which it will be. Let's go. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Uh, I saw on your menu online that you guys have fish, oh, sorry, uh, lobster tacos. Not anymore. Not anymore? No. Oh, no. We had tacos. Right? Uh, before the shutdown. Oh, and okay. They did that, they came back, they got a very limited menu now. Oh, boy. Oh, you know what else is new? Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Are you kidding? Okay. Oh, my. I haven't tried it. I tried the burger, though. Uh, it was good. I think you just hit the nail on the head. We'll do we'll do that Nashville hot chicken, but again, I'm at Red Lobster. I want to do something lobster-ish as oh, well. Lobster is seafood this. If you want to try just a little bit of lobster, you could get the creamy maritime lobster mashed potatoes. We have four seconds. Hmm. These look amazing too. Seafood stuffed uh, mushrooms. So I'll do that. They're really good. Yeah, and I'll do the creamy Norway and maritime lobster mashed potatoes and your Nashville hot chicken sandwich to go, please. Thank because you very much. I had to re-prep it, so she put a bonus in there. Oh me. my goodness. A piece of cheesecake and a bottle cake. Oh my gosh, thank okay. you very much. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah, you guys are off. All right, free food, let's eat. Before we start this video, consider hitting that subscribe button, clicking the like button, and turning on the notification bell. Thank you. Woohoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Check out the weight of that. Nice. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Well, that was almost a bust, but turned into something good. We came here for lobster tacos and we're leaving with a whole bunch of other cool things. They gave us at me extra things because it took them longer than they uh, thought. She said it was gonna be ready real soon and then it wasn't re ready real soon. And, uh, and then they gave me a pop, a Coke, and uh, I think those are my Cheddar Bay biscuits. And then they also gave me this on the side, which is funny because I'm like, I should get uh, a dessert item too. And that's their cheesecake, which is gonna be phenomenal. Let's get all this stuff out. I'm hoping everything's gonna, oh, don't you open. This container is awesome. It says right on it, microwave safe and customer reusable. So not only are you getting food, but you're getting containers while you're getting food from Red Lobster. Thanks, Red Lobster. You guys rock. I'm gonna try and open up everything. This is gonna be phenomenal. Actually, the knife and fork and stuff is in here, and I wasn't planning on doing a dinner kind of thing, so I left my knife and fork at home. I apologize for that, so I'm gonna to have to use their knife and fork. I was gonna not ask for this. If I knew I was coming here, which I didn't, then I wouldn't have accepted these, so I apologize once again. May the fork be with you. And they gave me a little wet nap. I might need that just a little bit later on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and go through this. I don't, I have a funny feeling. It almost looked like they forgot my seafood stuffed mushroom caps, uh, but they're in here. I thought they were gonna get like six or something in a thing, but it's such a huge mushroom cap. No, don't fall and don't get on my shirt. So there is a, an extreme close up of that mushroom cap with the cheese all over it. You can see the seafood right there. I'm gonna try and poke it a little bit with the fork, see what happens. Oh my, yeah, this is gonna be super gooey you can see that mushroom cap right under there so it looks like there's more than one and they're just all stuck stuck in here let's see if we can pull that one out i started to move a little bit started getting some pliable oh my goodness yeah that is going to be super scrumptious what do you think let me know if you love 
seafood stuffed mushroom caps. First bite. Mm. Oh, so much butter. Cheese, garlic. The mushroom cap itself is just wonderful. A little bit of a cheese pull there. Looks like we got some seafood hanging. Mmm, more cheese. The seafood is wonderful. And just to give you a heads up, if you live in the Barrie area and you love coming to Red Lobster every once in a while, they are going to be going into possibly a shutdown uh, for the restaurant, uh, for the eating in. So if you wanna come to Red Lobster, you gotta get here before Monday because Monday uh, we might be they might be closing down the sitting down part. They'll still be doing takeout, so you can still order from uh, their takeout menu uh, online. So check that out if if you can't make it in or you don't want to come in. Support your local Red Lobster people because we need them to be open after all this chaos hop, uh, finishes, so we can continue eating amazing food like that cheese bulb oh yeah mm. all the nice little meaty bits of the seafood tender juicy just wonderful big glob of cheese spices sauce and seafood. All done that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just open up our free Coke. That's so nice of them. There's like a little spot on my tray where I can put my cap. Check that out. Cheers, everyone. Two Red Lobster and their wonderful food. Before it gets too cold in here, this thing's still kind of sealed. I have to have a Cheddar Bay Biscuit before we go any further because they're still warm in the bag. Oh, look at all that heavenly goodness of cheddar and the spices on there. Do you guys eat it straight up or do you smother it with more butter? I like them straight up. I'm sure if I was sitting in their restaurant though, I would definitely put more butter on it. Let's take a bite of that thing of beauty. Mmm. Fresh Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> the warming of the soul. That's amazing. So it came to $34.64 plus the tip of $40.37. And uh, I was just reading the receipt here. It says you get free Cheddar Bay Biscuits, but they gave me five, again, because uh, it took longer than normal uh, and they felt bad about that. I was cool with it, but they, 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 they felt I needed something extra. But I think we gotta check out this lobster mashed potatoes next. One more bite first. Now we can do it. Okay, peeling the top off. Let's take a peek. And there it is. Lobster mashed potatoes. See that chunk of lobster over there? Oh, it looks like a little bit of a lobster claw, maybe? Yes. And then we got those creamy mashed potatoes underneath. And you can see all the butter just everywhere, which is gonna make it taste super awesome. Are you guys ready? Oh, let's do this. Let's pick up a nice big scoop. Oh yeah, almost flicked it right into the camera. Let's eat. Scratch that and sniff that. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Mmm. So it's probably like um, a lobster sauce, like a buttery lobster sauce with a bit of lobster on it. Not a whole lot of lobster. Lobster's expensive, so they only gave you so much. And then a lot of mashed potatoes to round this thing off. Oh, look at that. It's gonna look wonderful. All sauced up. Let's see if we can get that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's going down the hatch nicely. This is something about lobster and butter, and then when you pour that over mashed potatoes, it kind of goes up and through the roof, doesn't it? It's very very salty. So if you love your your mashed potatoes and uh, lobster, nice and savory, this is the thing to get. I'm trying to divvy up the lobster with every single forkful. 
want a little bit of lobster, a little bit of potato, a little bit of sauce. But that is great. I'm definitely going to get this next time. And I definitely recommend this, guys, if you're uh, heading up ordering from Red Lobster. Give that a shot. I like that a lot. Another quick sip. Show the logo. I was pretty disappointed when I went in there and the lobster tacos were off the menu for now. But I'm so glad when she said, oh, we have a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I'm like, let's do it. Oh, my. Okay, let's do the fresh test on that shiny bun. And it looks like it's bouncing back. Nice. Let's see if they toasted that bun. I love toasted buns. You can always ask for it. Yes, they grilled it, actually. That's even better than toasting it. Put the butter on it, throw it on the grill. And you can see all that sauce right there. That would be their Nashville hot recipe sauce. So we're going to, hopefully that's going to be crazy hot. It smells sickly sweet. You can just smell the sweetness of that chicken. But check that out. Does that not look like crispy, deep fried chicken? Again, I think I would prefer if they put the chicken into a, a bowl with the sauce and then flipped it a few times, kind of like they do wings. And then on the bottom, looks like we got some coleslaw. And then, of course, that bottom bun looks like it was grilled as well. Let's put this lid back on and start eating. All right, guys, going in for a huge bite of this beautiful Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Doesn't it look good, though? Mmm, smells good. Time to bite it. Did you hear the crunch? That is a crunchy chicken sandwich. A sweet Nashville hot chicken type sauce. The bun is wonderful. And that chicken is super crispy and uh, lovely. I can't wait to get to more of that sauce. Fresh, juicy chicken. It's not dried out at all. And the coleslaw on the bottom is definitely adding to this. I'm not big on the whole coleslaw, but uh, this is definitely working for me. Oh, let's do this more. It's not bad. If you love your Nashville hot chicken sweet and savory, this is pretty good. Uh, I prefer it to be hotter than what this is. Uh, this has a nice little tiny bit of a sting to it, but it's more of like a pepper kind of hot than it is like a cayenne pepper kind of hot, you know what I'm saying? I, I would up the game of the heat on this and put a little warning or ask people, have two different sauces, have a mild and a spicy, because even in Nashville, they offer you multiple ranges of heat. And I think some of these restaurants like Red Lobster should offer different heat options because I would go hot. Hotter, hottest, volcano hot. Two or three more bites and we're done. Guys, I am not kidding. When you bite this bun and you get that crispy edge of the grilled bun and butter, it just adds to the sandwich. I look forward to every crunchy bun part that I get. I try to make everything equal, but when I get to that crunchy edge, oh my gosh, you definitely got to try this thing. Keep eating. I'm going to do it in two bites. That's one. Last bite. Mm-hmm. So good. All right, last up is this bonus vanilla bean cheesecake. There we go. There is that vanilla bean cheesecake. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks decadent. It looks sweet. Oh, there's chunks of white chocolate on the top. And you can see that vanilla bean seasoning inside. Wow. Thank you very much, Red Lobster Berry. I appreciate it. You guys didn't need to, but I appreciate it, and I will enjoy it. Let's do this. First bite. Let's put that fork right into that vanilla bean, and we'll pull a little piece off there. See if we can do this with one hand. Got another, oh, this cheesecake looks wonderful. Oh yeah, I gotta break that base. Let's see if we can get that whole thing lifted up. Oh, look at that, oh man. It looks so good. Oh, it's heavy too. 
That's where you know a good cheesecake when it's got that weight. Cheers, guys. Wow. That not that would have not been my first choice of desserts here at Red Lobster. But I am so glad that I got that because that vanilla flavoring and the smoothness of this cheesecake is just so decadent and beautiful. Mmm, creamy. It's like from here down is like the heavy cheesecake. From here up is like it's like a whipped cream, uh, less dense type cheesecake. Uh, again, I don't I'm not a baker, so I don't know exactly how it works, but you can definitely de tell the difference in textures between the bottom and the top. I was thinking it was one huge thing of cheesecake, but there's definitely a separation between the top and the bottom with like a like an icing on the top almost. And that graham crust is just to die for. You gotta love cheesecake, man. It's one of my faves. I only have it once or twice a year, but when I do have it, my body just goes into like a convulsion. It starts to twitch. <laughs> Cause it remembers how good it is every time I eat it. Graham crust, nice and buttery. Yeah, that, that crust is dynamite, man. Look at that, sticks to the fork, nice, ah! Almost sticks to the fork the whole time. Keep eating. Like I said, this whole top part is like an icing, a creamy icing. And you just pull that off with that chocolate bits right there. And you just put that on your tongue and let it sit and enjoy the flavors of that vanilla bean cheesecake topping. Oh man. Red Lobster. <clears throat> I'm so glad that you guys were taking a little bit longer and you felt the need to give me a bonus thing. Cause like I said, I probably never would have ordered that. There's other things that I thought were going to be better than this. And I possibly would have picked something on the chocolate end, uh, like brownie or whatever else you have on the menu. But again, I'm so glad you almost need to create little slices and then have somebody go around the restaurant when you're back to full capacity and give people samples of your desserts. Because uh, again, I would never have tried that. And now that I have, I think every single time I come back to Red Lobster, I'm always gonna get this vanilla bean cheesecake because it is freaking awesome. The shavings of white chocolate on the top definitely help uh, a lot. So that, that's a nice little topping. I'm not sure if you guys make these here, but uh, yeah, whoever designed this one, good job. Last huge bite of this heavenly dessert. Mm -mm. And now it's time for our moistened lemon scented cloth to clean up. Smell good, lemony fresh. Once again, thank you very much Red Lobster for staying open during these tough times that we have been dealt with. And it was so nice that I was up in Barry, saw that you're open, went in there expecting one thing, came out with a whole slew of other things and enjoyed every single bite of that wonderful meal. Thank you very much, Red Lobster Berry. All right, guys, if you love my videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that playlist right over there and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.